Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and I have come up with a very interesting problem from Erodo. It's modified from the Erodo and its name is Life of a Soap Bubble. Guys, this video is presented to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together. And my current courses on Unacademy are INPHO Foundation and JE Advanced 2023. This is a very unique course and starting from 9th February. So here integrated INPHO and advanced preparation will be done. So this will be uh, advanced plus 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 level course and uh, one of its kind in the India. And guys, there is a series of mock tests going on uh, on a plus uh, platform for J mains uh, 2021. And uh, Yes, you can access uh, all my theory courses which are of advanced plus plus level for boosting your JE preparation. Uh, and you can unlock these courses using my code Nitin sir or in general any test paper, test series, uh, wherever they, uh, it is prompting to ask you for some code uh, or pass code or invite code, you can use, the, use this faculty code. And for more information, you can uh, visit uh, www.unacademy.com and uh, trust me guys physics will never be the same again so here is the statement of uh, this problem uh, a thin tube is connected to a soap bubble having a surface tension of t uh, the tube has a length of l and the cross section radius of a naught initial radius of the bubble is r naught and r naught is uh, very very large compared to the uh, diameter of this or radius of this uh, uh, tube at t equal to 0, uh, the air inside the bubble starts moving out and uh, the coefficient of viscosity of air is given as eta. Then we have to find the radius of bubble as a function of time. And uh, second, we have to calculate the change in potential energy of uh, so bubble uh, up to time t. And third part is time after which radius of bubble will be tending to uh, 0. That means uh, the lifetime of this uh, so bubble. So let's start this uh, problem. The concept part here we can uh, see the excess pressure in the soap bubble is given by the pressure inside and outside that pressure difference is going to be 40 by R where T is the surface tension and R is the radius of it. Here this pressure inside is going to be more than the pressure outside. All right. And the next part is uh, the volume flow rate for a viscous fluid in a pipe is given by uh, this is Poiseuille's equation guys. Uh, this is the Q is volume flow rate and that is uh, through a pipe. Suppose there is a pipe here and when a viscous fluid is uh, passing through it, the volume flow rate is given by delta P which is uh, pressure difference into pi A to the power 4. Here A is the radius of the tube divided by 8 eta L. You can remember this Poiseuille's equation like uh, current electricity Ohm's law. Uh, this delta P will act as a potential difference and this 8 eta L by pi A to the power 4. This is the resistance of uh, any uh, uh, pipe and Q is the volume flow rate which is like uh, current. So this is how you can remember this Poiseuille's equation. It works very well parallel and series connections. So now here at any time T when the radius of the soap bubble is uh, R. So now you can see here, uh, we know the pressure outside is P0 here also and here also pressure is P0 and the pressure inside is P in. So definitely this P in uh, at this instant is going to be uh, 40 by R uh, and we are assuming that the changes in the radius are coming very slowly and that uh, uh, for that purpose we have assumed the radius to be very very small. That means a very small volume of uh, air is leaking. So this R, R is very slow, all right, uh, very slow it is changing so that we can assume this soap bubble is in uh, equilibrium all the time and we can get this desired uh, result. And for pipe, this volume flow rate uh, is given by delta P is equal to, uh, d Q is equal to delta P into pi a to the power 4 by 8 eta l. This is the pipe here and uh, from here to here this uh, air uh, movement will take place. So here volume flow rate I can write it as dv by dt where v is the volume of the 
uh, of this bubble I'm taking, this volume is decreasing. So whatever decrease in the volume will come, that will be the volume flowing through the tube and that will be the volume coming out of this uh, hole. So minus dV by dt and this must be equal to P1, P in minus P0 divided by the resistance uh, part I can write here. So when we substitute the value, d by dt of volume of this uh, bubble is 4 by 3 pi r cube and this p in minus p naught I can substitute as uh, 40 by r and into pi a to the power 4 by a theta l. So now I can just uh, separate the variables and I can write this as uh, 4 by 3 pi into 3 r squared r by dt and this value 40 by r and if I simplify this and integrate uh, uh, before integration this will become minus r cube dr and this side we are going to get uh, uh, t a naught to the power 4 e a theta l uh, into dt when we integrate initial radius is r naught when time t was 0 at any time t radius of the soap bubble is r so when I simplify I am going to get this radius as uh, uh, by the way here there is some change this radius is going to be actually power 1 by 4 here i misplaced it and uh, never mind i will write here so this is the answer for first part here you can easily see a very nice calculation will uh, come in this case uh, when you adjust integration is also very simple in this uh, situation here uh, then so i'm leaving this part i'm not explaining the mathematics part here i'm sure you can do it and uh, the answer for third part also we can calculate the lifetime of uh, this soap bubble when r becomes 0 i am going to get this uh, t0 as 2 eta l r0 to the power 4 by t a0 to the power 4 this is going to be the answer for uh, lifetime of the soap bubble now change in potential energy it's very easy to calculate uh, uh, potential energy of the soap bubble i can write t into area area there are two layers in the soap bubble air glass air liquid air so t into 4 pi r square multiplied by 2 because of two layers now i can write here change in surface energy that is u final minus u initial i can write it as uh, t into 8 pi rt square minus r naught square rt value i can substitute from uh, this equation here r at any time t when I substitute this value, I am going to get this delta U as 8 pi T times R naught to the power 4 minus T A naught to the power 4 by 2 eta L into T uh, to the power 1 by 2 minus R naught square. Uh, this is going to be the final answer for this problem. I hope guys you have enjoyed it. All right. If you have enjoyed this problem, please uh, leave a like, share this problem with others and uh, share this channel. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe my channel. I will be coming up very soon with another amazing problem. Thank you. Thanks for watching it.